Hi everybody, happy Sunday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and that is 2024 NT Collegiate Football two box. Pick your team number eight. Second half of the case that we popped open the other night. Big thanks to this group right here for getting your uh, spots straight up. Getting some new toner soon. Oliver, you ended up with last spot mojo with the Rams before we pulled the remaining teams for that random number block. That randomizer we did in a separate video, but here are the results right over here. So it's a serial number style break applying only to these teams right here. All right, good luck. And feel free to vote in our Sunday Night Football poll in the YouTube chat who wins the Sunday Night Football game. The line's only a point. Chargers are minus one, and they're now leading the voting. 52% thinking the Chargers. We'll give each team one, one series at least before we close that poll. off with uh, Adrian Peterson, 42 out of 50. For the uh, retired players, this will go to the team they played for the longest, which would be the Minnesota Vikings. And that's going to go to Michael. Here is Anthony Richardson, 72 out of 75. That'll be for the Colts. Did the Colts win today? Yeah, the Colts beat the Jets by a point. Anthony Richardson, decent day for him. 20 for 30, 272 yards, a touchdown, no interceptions, and rushed for a couple touchdowns too. So Anthony Richardson building his stock back up. Eric with the Colts. Next up is Brock Bowers, 15 out of 25. Another Raider loss, but a big day for Brock Bowers. But the lone bright spot to uh, to the to Raider season for my Raiders. They actually kept it close until the very end, but close isn't enough. Brock Bowers, 13 catches for 126 yards and a touchdown. Catching 13 of his 16 targets. Who's got my Raiders? Ryan with the Raiders. That's all right. I don't want the Raiders to win any more games. It's just find find a got to find a quarterback of the future. Here is uh, Xavier Leggett. Nice bowl game patch. Seven out of ten. Anyone can I, anyone identify what bowl that is, just by looking at that patch? Yeah, the lone bright spot for the Raiders, Terry. So hopefully, hopefully the Raiders don't waste uh, waste his career. Uh, Xavier Leggett is with the Panthers. They're their late first round pick. Carolina maybe turning turning a, a corner. I need them to win games. Although they they probably wouldn't draft a quarterback, would they? All right, that's going to be for Adam and the Panthers. Here is Troy Franklin, 19 out of 49.
Troy Franklin is with the Broncos. Denver is a random number block team. So, in case you're new to this, we go by that digit right there. Not that one, but that one. So that's nine, and that's for Joe Lawson. Denver nine. Here is 22 out of 25. That's uh, Malachi Corley. Malachi Corley is a receiver for the Jets. That's going to be for Adam and his Jets. Their third round pick. Here is a dual autograph. 75 out of 99. That's Johnny Wilson and Keon Coleman. So that's a randomizer. Keon Coleman, I'm fairly certain, is a Bill. But Johnny Wilson? Yeah, Keon Coleman is a Buffalo Bill. And Johnny Wilson is a Eagle. So that'll be a randomizer on that dual autograph. It's going to be Philadelphia or Buffalo. So it's going to be Philly, Eric versus Scott and the Bills. So one, one happy person, one sad person. We'll do that randomizer at the end. And then the last one here is, ooh, nice. One of one, Brian Thomas Jr. Got some inscriptions there as well. The big SEC patch. Ooh. And I'm fairly certain that he's a Jaguar, right? Brian Thompson Jr. Very speedy Jaguar. Yeah. Nice. Who's got Jacksonville? Jordan with Jacksonville. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. I like that, Tom. It's big SEC patch right there. I like that. He's got Go Tigers. He's got Duval. Shouting out his college team, pro team. This guy's really fast too, I want to say. Wow. He's 6'3", 209. And, is, and he runs a 4'3", 40. Nice one, Jordan. All right. But wait, there's more. We got another box. Both teams run a series here? Yeah, uh, no. So, the uh, Bengals' first series didn't go too far. Five plays, 17 yards, ends up in a punt. We got a book here. And so the Chargers are starting their first drive of the evening. Here is another Adrian Peterson, 23 out of 75. Do Bengals fan travel? Let's see what, let's see what the crowd sounds like in LA. Does seem a little quiet. Chargers are six and three, so maybe more Chargers fans are, are attending the games. We got Cooper Dijon and Luke Lakey. 
two out of ten. Another randomizer. We get a couple Iowa Hawkeyes, I believe. Cooper Dijon is another Eagle, so we got another Eagle involved in this. And his former collegiate teammate. It, oh, it's still a tight end for the uh, Iowa Hawkeyes. So that's the NIL spot, which is it, which is part of the random number block. So NIL2, Joe Lawson, you're involved in this randomizer here, the dual relic. All right, then we've got Lie to Latou, 51 out of 75. And he is with the Colts. He was the Colts' uh, first round pick, by the way, 15 overall. This will go to uh, Eric in Indianapolis. We've got Cameron Kitchens, 14 out of 75. Cameron is with the Rams, their third round pick. It's going to go to Oliver. Last spot mojo with the Rams. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. All the time. The book, 18 out of 25, Trey Benson. Nice college material signatures. Some nice, uh, nice color there. Trey Benson, third round pick, uh, is with the Cardinals, the Arizona Football Cardinals. I think he's doing a little bit of work for, for the Cardinals, right? Here and there. Let's see if they expand his role at some point. All right. A couple more here. A few more, I think. We've got the RPA, Jalen McMillan, 63 out of 99. And Jalen is with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Quinn Ewers, rated prospect autograph on a select card. Youth Explosion. Is that numbered? I don't think it is. So everyone in the random number blocks got a chance at it. Yeah, no number. Could he be a raider? next season. All right, and the last one here is Lad McConkie. 28 out of 99. Rookie, jersey, and autograph. And he is a Charger. We're on defense now. Gentry, what's going on? Welcome back. Good to see you. And the Chargers is for Scott, Scott Anderson. With the bolts, we're going to try to stop this, uh, which is what they've been doing all season long, trying to stop the 
stop the offense. Kind of a high-powered offense here. All right, excellent. Now, let's do some randomizing. Let's get three different lists here. We got one dice roll for all three lists. We'll do the dual relics first. There's Philadelphia, Buffalo. The, oh, that was the dual auto. Let's do the dual relic first. Philadelphia, NIL spot. The dual auto was Philadelphia, Buffalo. And then everyone in the random number block group has a shot at that Quinn Ewers. Not numbered. One dice roll for all three lists. It's going to be two and a three. Five times each. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, and five. Philadelphia is going to get the dual relic. And that's going to be for Eric. Then the uh, dual auto. Two and a three, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Philadelphia again. Look at that, it's your day, Eric. And last but not least, the Quinn Ewers. Two and a three, five times. Name on top gets it after five. One, two, three, four, and five. It's going to go to Greg. Greg, after five times, you're getting the Quinn Ewers Youth Explosion autograph. Let's see what team he ends up. He's going to declare next year. I think he is. So let's see where, let's see where he ends up next season. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.